Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasa Allah. Koholo Yimla. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rekahakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. A great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water. To all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. It's Shachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, friend, that is um, edifying by the Spirit. And this is um, hot new hip hop uh, celebrities. Um, it says Lil Kim tosses her underwear into crowd at recent performance. Uh, you know damn well Lil Kim is too damn old for this. You know, um, and but I mean it's that world that she's in. She's not giving up the ghost. She has changed her look and mutilated herself. She doesn't look anywhere near what she looked like when she first came into the game. That's for show show. But anyway, let's get some of the article. Um, it says, Sukiana wasn't the only surprise. That's another one. <laughs> That's another one, man. Sukiana, keep it classy. Sukiana wasn't the only surprise that Lil' Kim had for the crowd at one music fest in Atlanta, Georgia. You already know Atlanta, boy. Ooh -wee. Yeah, I'm going to keep it classy. <laughs> Moreover, those towards the front of the crowd got quite the show when she removed her panties mid-set. And then launched them into the crowd. Of course, this elicited a lot of cheers and wildly shocked reactions for the legendary Fem FemC from festival go goers in um in the moment. However, once it was time for social media to catch up to the occurrence, people were less than enthused or appreciative when it came to this gift. Many folks saw this as too nasty, too corny, or performative, a straight up health code <laughs> violation. <laughs> or something you could you could press charges for. <laughs> oh, my. oh man, I gotta say all of the above, man. For real, for real. That shit is too nasty. It is corny as hell. Um, it's very overperformative. It's you ask me a damn straight health code violation <laughs> and something you could press charges for straight up, man. It says, on the other hand, there were also plenty of people who took it as an entertainingly bizarre and fun moment. Of course, because you got a lot of damn freaks out here, man. This is the world that you live in. You know, you have two thirds of people, two thirds of our people, you know, that, you know, hey, they into stuff like this, man. They're into Esau Edom's, you know, wicked way, man. This place is finished, man. It says, um, okay, some defended her, basically, Lil' Kim against the uh, aforementioned critics. She had on pants, one, one fan clarified, they were over her pants. Y'all too old. <laughs> it's not her first time doing this at concerts. That's like y'all saying, why the brat pulled her pants down on stage, because that's what she does. Nah, I mean, hey, look, man. Regardless to what. It, it, this is not um, becoming of our people, man. Well, our people are really have have become real, uh, just uh, just real degenerates, man. You know, trying to uh, please the masses in Esau Edom's kingdom, because that's you know th this is um, all this entertainment shit. The things that our people do, they do it to appease the so-called white man. And basically to keep his money, you know, um, that 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 mammon. You can't serve um Yahweh and Mammon, man. These people that are into this game, you better believe that. I'm I'm pretty sh certain that little Kim, she knows she's a Hebrew Israelite. She has to know that by now, you know. <laughs> the Hebrew Israelites were out, you know, when she was really really hot back in the days, you know, um, in New York, you know. But you know, this particular lifestyle, they're they're not thinking about none of that stuff, man. They choose. Mamming over Yahweh, and it is what it is, man. And, and you know, it's a bad look for our women, but we understand what's going on by the spirit, though. It says, regardless of this interpretation, it will still, it was still a little too much for people to stomach online for the most part. Sure, they had plenty of hilarious jokes about it, but no one really seemed to see this as anything less than a bit over the top at best. In addition, a lot of people either used or called out the double standards. When it comes to what other female rappers these days can do and what little Kim can't. Man, little Kim is damn. Is she a grandmama or something? Little Kim, man. I don't even know how old little Kim is, but man, she she too old for this shit. As a matter of fact, any lady is too old for this. 
Our women shouldn't be doing anything like this in general, period. Shouldn't even be on stage. Shouldn't even be um, um, performing those nasty ass songs to begin with, man. You know, it says still we're sure that no matter what happens during these shows, she will keep doing concerts as she wants. It's not like all of them are that raunchy either. The New York artist recently performed at WNBA finals game to great and non-controversial success. Meanwhile, what's your take on all this? Okay, okay, cool, cool. Let me see. Let's grab a couple of comments. Let's see what the comments are looking like. We grab a couple of scriptures, man. It's not going to be a long lesson. I'm just thinking like, you know, this is where our people are at. This is a, um, they say you can tell a nation by your women, you know, when this is, um, I mean, <laughs> the women that's representing us right now is, ooh, man, you got your Cardi B, you got your, um, uh, your Sexy Reds, you got your Doja Cat, you got your, your, um, shit, Nikki's still out here doing that shit, uh, <laughs> who, who else, um, they, oh, Nasty Lil Sukiana, uh, just a whole, just, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's it's sad, man. I, I gotta just put it that way. Uh, it's probably hanging on some simp's rearview mirror now, with the aroma of a leftover tuna sandwich r uh, rotting under the driver's seat. Oh wow, damn! This person says with shit stains down in the middle. <laughs> hey people, hey man. But I mean, it says, what do you expect from a washed-up rapper trying to make money? And be nasty at the same time. Hope no one ends up in the hospital because of the smell. See, people not, you know, it says has to smell like marshlands in Jersey, Pittsburgh, around the oil tanks and waste treatment plant on a hot August day. Golly, smell like an old lady. Got to. He was very, ah, uh, yeah, boy, who we. From a psychiatric point of view, this woman has lost touch with reality and has regressed when she was 19 years old again you can expect more of this disturbing behavior in the near future god help her no hey you, you need hey, this is for all the all the women you know this is from your megan the stallions your your cardies your your you know your um your damn ice spices all of them just you know you just you know you see them and you need a you know you just feel like you just need to need a shower man you had to wash them people in the tub you you had to be cleaning yourself as, uh, up as you you know watching them you got to be washing up as you watching them <laughs> they just you know seem that nasty man like it's just it, this shit is out of control they don't mind just you know everything showing man it's like how much further can it go but see how about Shamal Masai's coming to um you know um Deal with all this madness, man. But, uh, because Kim been doing that for a long time. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me see. Let's see how old is little Kim. Because I'm not sure. She got to be at least 50, though. At least that. That little girl. I think she got a daughter. And see, you'll have, like, um, you know... A lot of those women like Cardi B, they be shielding their daughters. They don't want their daughters listening to the shit that they be um, saying and the shit that they be doing. You know? But they'll but they'll push it on your people. They'll push it on your children. Okay, she is, is saying she's 49. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man. You a half century old and you out here still trying to hang with the little dogs, huh? the, little, the, the new fresh meat. But she's feeling like, hey, look, I'm the, I'm the one that got y'all to where y'all at as far as that nastiness. She takes pride in um, basically, uh, uh, matter of fact, let me see. Let, let's go to this right here. Uh, let's see if I can get this real quick here. Yeah. Here we go right here. Let's get this right here. Titus 2. This is what Lil' Kim should be doing. Uh, Yeah, let's, let's start at verse 3. It says, The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. See? Not taking your panties off at a show and throwing it, man. It says that they may teach the young women to be sober. But she's proud of her positioning. She's proud of the fact that she created these women that you see today. She'll tell you quick, I'm the queen of this. 
But you know that original word queen goes off into, you know, not what you think it is or what they portray it to be. That goes off into like a, you know, a prostitute, so to speak, or a whore, you know what I'm saying? When you go off into the original um, entomology of that word, it says that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Hold on there. I missed something here. Let's go back. Verse th three again. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet. See, she's not discreet, chastity, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. I'm willing to bet you, hey, she, she ain't going to tell you about she might do it in the, in the backdrop. But she she's not going to um go out on a limb to tell you women, you know what I'm saying, that uh yeah you should be doing any of these things right here. Because to her or to her fan base, that would make her seem as if she's corny. She's not going to um, tell um, um no women nothing like this. Let's read that in the NLT. Verse 3 again. Similarly, teach the older women. Let me see. Similarly, teach the, uh, the older women to live in a way that honors God. They must not slander others or be heavy drinkers. Instead, they should teach others what is good. These older women must train the younger women to love their husbands and their children, to live wisely and be pure, to work in their own, to work in their homes, to do good, and to be submissive to their husbands. Then they will not bring shame on the word of God. Okay, but you know. You get the point that I'm, I'm trying to make here. Low Kim is not into nothing like that. And a lot of these women, they'll be in the backdrop living lives with their husbands. You know what I'm saying? And actually doing stuff like that. You know, you know, keeping the home. They, you know, they're ladylike at the house. You know, they, you know, they, they're into their man. But they'll get on that record. They'll get on that goddamn song and tell you about how you don't need a nigga. You know, I'm that, you know, that this, 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 this and this, you know, and you know what I'm talking about. In the meanwhile, they're living a whole different type of life in the backdrop, you know, and, and they're basically um, leading our people into a damn pit, man, leading our women into a pit. Our women are all and and, and not just the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American women no more. Man, it's women all over the world now that never would have even been living these lifestyles doing it. They even on, um, you know, uh, <laughs> online clapping of the fatties and, and you know, I mean, of, of all nations, nations that never would have done shit like this, you know, real women, you, women that, you know, would be covered up, you know, have their face and head covered and hey, they on the low low doing shit. They on the low low with an only fan. They on the low low, you know, um, you know, um, doing certain stuff. And a lot of them have gotten bold. It's not even low, you know, low low no more. As far as like, you know, I would have to say like um, from the, the Muslim um, aspect or the Muslim women, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them, they were kind of like, you know, keeping the traditions of um, being a Muslim woman, so to speak. But man, shit, they even they, they out of control now. So we're pretty much about at the end of this world, man. This, this thing is about over with. I mean, come on, how how long, how much nastier can it get? How much nat? I mean, you know, how long is it going to be that, you know, what else could it go to? You know, this place has to be destroyed by nuclear fire and cleanse, man. This is Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And that means, hey, you better listen up. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins, which meaning, hey, you, you need to, you know, settle it on in and repent. Come back into this knowledge of the truth. Come back into these scriptures because you are the true Hebrew Israelites. You know, matter of fact, it, it talks about um, what's that scripture. Uh, It's been a minute on that one for real, for real. I may not be able to find it. Let me see. I'm not sure. Maybe they spelled it differently. Nope, that's not it. But basically, it, it describes our women as being, um, you know, like like Sarah, man. You know what I'm saying? 
or or like any of our foremothers for that matter. You know what I'm saying? Like our foremothers, man, they, they love their men. They love the family. They kept the home. They wasn't out here, man, doing a whole bunch of crazy shit. They wasn't out here throwing panties off the stage, man. Come on, bro. They wasn't out here all uncovered and, and showing themselves and whatever um manner or whatever. No? Or was it uh Rebecca? But anyway, you get the point. I I it's been so long on that scripture. I know I may not be able to find that particular scripture, but you know, you are the, the daughters of uh, you know, of, of our foremothers, man. Sarah, Rebecca, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. I mean, we had a uh our culture is most definitely not what we're doing right here in slavery, man, in this in this captivity that we're in. And see, when, once we come out of this thing, man, we're in and, and and once you come into this truth, you really get to see like how far the hell off we've gone. We are through as a people, man. Super duper through as a people. Can't get around it. <laughs> Straight up. But anyway, it's high time to our that our, our women, you know, awake out of sleep, man. And the men too as well. And you men, man, y'all got to stop being goddamn simps, man. Just get straight to the point because what our women are, are pretty much overall missing these days is they're not being rebuked. They're not being reproved. They're not being told like, hey, look, the fuck out of here. You know, you you know, they're not y'all simping, man. Y'all paying for them to do this shit. Y'all, you know, you, you know, you just they bat an eye and you you curling up like some little puppy, man. Giving her anything that she want, doing whatever she says to do. She's in the boss control. But I do mean, you know what I'm saying? What's that scripture where it talks about um, a, uh, a woman shall compass a man? I mean, we are in that stage, but what's happening slowly is, or not, I can't even say slowly, it's kind of happening pretty fast now. Um, our women are, it, it, this, this, this thing is starting to turn on, on our women. This is Jeremiah 31 and 22. The lock. It says, how long would thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And that's pretty much where it's at. And, and how that's happened, the Lord has used Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, to do this thing. Because he has, you know, um, turned everything upside down. This man, um, you know, he, he has really flipped everything, man. And by everything being flipped like how it's flipped, the shit is out of order. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like the uh, the steering wheel telling the engine, like I'm the engine <laughs> of a car. You know what I'm saying? And the engine and took the the back seat. Uh, you know, no, <laughs> the engine, <laughs> the engine is basically, you know, the steering wheel and took over what the engine would normally do. I put it that way. You know what I'm saying? So it's all out of whack, man. This place is through, and it's only gonna get worse. But as this place falls. The woman is going to fall. And and when the, see, as the so-called white man, his kingdom falls, you women, you're going to fall right with him. You didn't let him dupe you up. You didn't let him put you out here on his pedestal. And, and, and he has, you know, sexualized you. And that's all men see you for now. They're not even looking at you like to be. Um, and you're not even looking at yourself to be women that can take care of a home or any of that stuff like that. Just should you get to mention and stuff like that, man. These these women looking at you like you crazy as hell. Cook. I don't cook. And they be proud of this stuff. I don't cook. How are you proud of not being able to cook? That shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Proud of it. They will proudly tell you. I'm talking about with joy. Nigga, who you think you talking to? I don't keep cooking. See, that's why you men, you got to um question and, and, you know, kind of put, you know, things. Hey, you know, hey, don't don't be so quick to jump into it with these these. <laughs> You know, you got to really, you know what I'm saying? You got to, hey, because it's you. You you, you need to be studying, man, this woman, man. Especially before you give her, the boy, you lay some seed into this woman. And, and, and it's all hell. Men don't even want to do that no more. Men have done caught on. They like, man, fuck marrying you. They ain't trying to do none of that. Because why? They understand that it's a whole bunch of new generation of little Kims running around out here. They don't have no discretion. They don't have no shame. They, they'll get that, that box up to anybody and they'll tell you, you know, hey, this, you know, like, nigga, who you think you are for thinking that you could, I should just be with you only. <laughs> so, I mean, like I said, again, I didn't want to keep this lesson long, man. Hey, this right here is is not a good look. I got to I got to say she's 50 years old. You can clearly see the people are in the uh, comment boards clowning her. 
It says, I feel so sorry for her. She is one crazy lady. They stuck to the ceiling and are still up there like a fishy air freshener. Golly, the whole crowd just got infected with AIDS probably. Look at the, I mean, look at the shit people saying. I ain't seen one positive hookup yet. It says, scratch and sniff, sniff and scratch. Somebody's going to get pink eye. Damn. I hope they toss them back with a bar of soap attached. Ew. Golly. And they got the throw up emojis. It says, make me gag. Ew, that cat got more miles than an F-150. Oh, wow. She should be ashamed. If that had been a man, his butt would have been in jail. <laughs> so I feel she should have been arrested. It don't take all that to be a rapper. Nah, well, yeah, you, you falling off. You, you, because Lil' Kim, man, man it, irrelevant, man. She's trying hard as hell to, to stick it out, man. It says, nasty bitch has no respect for herself. Shaking my head. Sounds like a smell vi smell of vision I'll pass. It's funny how y'all are so quick to say to say she stank. How would y'all know unless y'all been between her legs and y'all are some cyber bullies who don't have shit else better to do. I may not like her, but I damn sure got not gonna throw no shade. Grow up. Get the hell out of here. What you talking about? Ew. Uh, like throwing a, a giant gooey snail. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. No class. After they smelled them, throw them back. Nasty. Yikes. Was Biggie in them? Damn. I'm black and I'm getting more and more irritated with our behavior. I know you don't supposed to judge everyone, but a lot of us making it just more and more difficult. I'm praying, hoping, and wishing that one day we will grasp the concept and start caring like, for ourselves with more dignity. Carrying ourselves with more dignity. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that, buddy. You know, but you can see the comments, man. There's no um, no good comments there. Nobody, you, you had that one person, uh, you know, and they they could have kept that shit. They could have kept it, you know. I mean, it, I mean, <laughs> it just is what it is. But this is where we're at, man. This is where we're at. It's like shock value has it's them be it, it it's them come to an end. That's how you know that we're at the end of this kingdom. Can you imagine? Let's say uh back when women first started wearing pants in America. That wasn't that long ago. I think that was around about the forties, the nineteen fifties. Something like, I don't know, maybe before that, maybe thirties or forties or fifties. But that was a big shocker to um, you know, uh uh people of the world, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, because there was a lot more, you know, there was a lot more Christianity based, so to speak. A woman having on pants back then, that shit was like you being a goddamn demon for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it went from that to, you know, ladies on the beach with those little bathing suits. Now, you know, back then, you know, they had, you know, bathing suits that they was bathing suits. They covered a little bit more. But these days, it's just ass out, you know, thong up the ass cheek, crack out. You know, ass cheeks everywhere, tits are in it. You know, they just can't. It's like they keep trying to outdo the last, you know, um, shock value, so to speak. So now we're at the end of shock value. It's like it's really nothing else that can really be done that wouldn't be surprising. So when you get to that point, that means that it's about it's about it's a wrap. <laughs> it's about time. You know what I'm saying? That's just like with all the, the gun shootings, the fucking um, the mass shootings that you got on. Got going on. You got um all these damn wars going on. You got people that's just like you know openly, just brazenly just deleting people in broad daylight. <laughs> uh, the stabbings, people with hatchets, the way that they doing babies, just kids, pregnant women getting done dirty. On uh, so it's like the shock value in this world is at a complete end. So how much longer do you think that it's gonna be? You know what I'm saying? For the Lord to come, man. We are at the end of this thing, man. That's it. Like, what more can you do? Now, don't get me wrong. Every now and then, you be, you know, I'll, I'll see a story where we're like, God damn. You know, who would have thought of that? But, I mean, it's still at a point of shock value is over with. It's the end of shock value. People are desensitized. People are just used to just seeing all kinds of weirdo shit. And, and, and is you know, and people just living, man, that life like is not going to be any uh, consequences for the way that they're living. They just out here. And the so-called white man, he created that atmosphere because this is his wicked ass kingdom. But 
Hey, man, <laughs> the Lord is getting ready to judge this place, man. So y'all better get on point, man. Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, especially you women, because, hey, look, when it straight comes down to it, now, you know, as far as, and you know what, let me let me check this out. Let's see something real quick. Because I never, you know, so-called white man, he, he, he tries to throw that out here. I just want to put in, do women outnumber uh, men? And I'm pretty certain that they do. But who knows? Uh, it's not like I'm the one that's out here counting them all. And I wanted to bring this up because the scriptures talks about two thirds of our people getting that business, man. The Lord is going to kill all two thirds of people. And if there's more women on the planet than men, then the, the, the majority of those two thirds are going to be women. <laughs> so you have to really think about that, man. You know what I'm saying? So you women in these last days, it's going to be a very, very, very brutal time. And nobody's not going to give a shit about your panties or your your how fine your you are or how pretty you are or how, you know, um curvy you are or, you know, how your lips look, how your nails look, how your eyebrows look. It's going to come a point where you're not going to even be thinking about it. Ain't going to be no fucking mirror to look in. You you not gonna be last thing gonna be on your mind is looking in the mirror, <laughs> cause things about to get graphic here, man. Okay, let me see here. What is this? They said okay. This one right here says the number of men and women in the world is roughly equal, though men hold a slight lead with 102 men for 100 women. Okay, okay. So they're saying okay. So it's a few supposedly a few more men than women. Hmm. Not sure who done that study. Uh, let's see what else we got. This was. Uh, let's see. What are they saying? Okay, so that might be about it. It's in the Wikipedia. Human sex ratio. They have. Human sex ratio is the. Ratio of males to females in the population in the context of anthropology and dem demography. Yeah, they're saying about the same. So who knows? Maybe that's hey, you know, hey, I'm not the one that's, you know, I'm not out here counting nobody. But they, they are saying it is uh, more female ratio to than to men, so to speak, you know. Now, I guess, I don't know if they fact, now, I guess, I guess, now, are they factoring in? I'm not sure if they're factoring in that there are, a, I'm sure there's a lot more men in jail than women, you know, so that, that kind of kills a lot of the, um, you know, men to women ratio out here. And then you have a lot of, um, I don't know, I think maybe it's probably more men probably, um, leaning towards the wanting to be a woman and women being a man. I'm not sure about that, but who knows? Anyway, though, I, 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 you know, as far as like being out here, I would have to say, yeah, it's, it's far more women than men. Uh, see this one right here. Let me see. This one was 2020. Male to female ratio for people of oh, age 70 years, 70 plus years for the United States of America. Okay, no, nah, we don't need that. We're just looking at it in general. Okay. Well, either way, though, it's still, um, you know, each one that I'm seeing is supposedly more um, women than men. Um, but now, when you look at this particular scripture right here, though, let's go into um, Isaiah chapter 4. Verse 1. And I'm just flowing with the spirit, y'all. You know, um, verse 1, it says, And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So what's going to happen? What's going to come to the point where there's going to be seven women that's going to be willing, willingly, willing to take on one man like you know i don't care i'm not jealous 
fuck that jealousy girl we're gonna share this month you know what i'm saying i mean because it's pretty much overall like that now <laughs> you know but it's gonna come a point where there's gonna be a lot more women than there are men and that's gonna come with war that's gonna come with um yeah a lot of men being deleted out here man a lot of people you'd be surprised man hey they they talking about um draft right now like um draft is kind of trending i think you know because of these wars and rumors of wars that you have in the scriptures they're going to start to draft a lot of men they're going to start to draft a lot of um young men you know from they have they might even take the damn age range up and they they could scoot it down they could say hey from 16 to 50 you just never know but we do know that from 18 to like about 35 or so that's going to be a lot of men that are going to be up and out of these countries, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to leave a lot of women out here um, husbandless, manless, brotherless. Um, um, they ain't going to have no damn uncles, no dads, no. So it's going to those those few men that are going to be left. Hey, man. Anyway, I don't know how I even got there. That's by the spirit, though. <laughs> you know, hey, Lil' Kim. Hey, look, man. It's coming to a point where. Nobody's not gonna even be interested interested in somebody like Lil Kim, man. It's gonna if she really be one of those seven, you know. And they're not gonna give a shit about her star status. They're not gonna care about no Megan Thee Stallions, no Cardi B's, no Ice Spices, no, you know. And I'm just mentioning so called black women, but you know, it's a lot of beautiful women out here. But that shit not gonna matter, man. In 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 these last days, it's gonna come a point where women gonna be like, man, I need me a nigga. And there's a lot of these videos on here now. You know, when you go on YouTube, man, there's a lot of channels that's dedicated to women that are just out here like, why don't men approach me? Why don't men try and holler at me? Why don't men? I'm pretty. You know, I, I get dressed. I, I I get my hair done, my nails done. I throw on my, my favorite perfume. You know, I spend all this money on these skincare products and I smooth my face and I do this and I do that. And I can go all month long and not get one holler. <laughs> you know, because men might glance, they might look, but it's done come to a point where it, it, it's it's just all work, no reward, and and that's because the 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 you know the women thing has dwindled, man. I mean, men are looking at that shit like, hey, look, man, I, there's no use in me getting married. You know, they 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 they're um hip to the the um she can take every goddamn thing I have. You know, she can take the kids. But see, men have been watching all that. They've been seeing all that. And then, you know, a lot of men don't approach women and don't um, compliment them and stuff like that because women have been so goddamn snotty. You know, they out here, they in the mirror, you know, because it, it's these little Kims and shit like that. It's that. Those are the ones that's got the women out here in the mirror, constantly primping themselves, constantly look at me, look at me, look at me, selfie, selfie this, selfie, selfie that. You know, they're used to these comments on, on, online. They're getting comments online, of course. But real men walking up to them and stepping to them in real life, that's not happening. And then when it does happen, they don't even have the sense enough to be courteous and and, 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 and hold a decent conversation. They be looking, I don't know, who are you and why are you and stepping to me? Do you see me? And then in the meanwhile, they'll be doing a goddamn video of, Talking about how, the, you know, they can't, what's wrong with me? I can't find a man. I mean, it's plenty of, I'm telling you, it's plenty of those channels now. Men are starting to catch on. Now you got these women out here, they get, they got that list. Um, what's the list of uh, places that you can't take them on a date, on a first date? A long ass, silly ass, stupid ass list too. Like, you know, when you're reading that list, you're like, well, goddamn, you know, where can a brother take you? No, I can't say that all women don't agree with that shit because I have seen videos of women like, you know, these bitches crazy. <laughs> you know, there, there are some women that are out here, they they are for men. You know what I'm saying? There's some, you know, red pill channels out here where women, they dedicate their channel to um up in the man. You know, but it's just not enough of them. And men are just like, you know what, fuck it, man. You know, it's, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, men, they still get into these relationships, but they get into them because they, and they don't really. They don't think, man. They they just, you know, they're kind of jumping into some shit being a damn simp, man. Like, you know, instead of examining the situation and, and looking at, you know, they're not thinking down the line. Like, you know, is this somebody that I would be with in five years or six years? Or, you know, I, you know, just looking at how she's acting. Will this last a year? 
could this go on for, you know, is she, you know, going to be, you know, I mean, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, Lil' Kim, man, hey, she, she has got it there for y'all. She's the queen. She'll tell you quick, I'm the queen. She gets mad when you won't, you know, um, <laughs> you know, let her know that she's the queen. See, when all these other little women are getting all the attention, she's like, no, y'all got to come back to me with that. That's I started all that. It wouldn't be no you if it weren't for me. So she's, she, she, she's into that, man. I've seen her. You know, that that's her, 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 one of her models, so to speak. And you bitches wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for me. And, and she's proud of the generation that she's pretty much destroyed because you, she's one of the ones that helped destroy um, a generation. You know, going back to, you know, you know, around her time, you had Foxy Brown. She was kind of next. You know, she she was, you know, the ill Nana. You know what I'm saying? That ill coochie. You know, so you had a, you know, it was a few um, female artists around that time. You know, they wasn't running the game like they pretty much overall and took over the game. Now, you know, I be seeing niggas in their cars, riding, listening to them. Like, nigga, you ain't, you can listen. I mean, damn. You riding around out here bobbing your head to some chick shit? I ain't saying that, you know what I'm saying? You can't listen to a woman's stuff. But, you know, I've seen men like shit. I'm like, damn, so... There's no no niggas out here y'all can be listening to. You riding around with your top down, banging some chicks like you know them fell off hard, man. The whole industry them fell off hard. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that, man. I didn't want to keep it long. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Call me yesterday, call me Hey yo, it's high time to awake out of sleep. Hey you women, man, y'all gotta wake up, man, and and you know you gotta realize that the enemy has set you up. The so called white man has set you up to fall. And fall hard too because it's coming too. Yeah, all you can do is repent right now and, and, and pray for forgiveness and mercy from your Hawa Bashimi Awashai. So with that, Kwame Yashala.